How's it going, guys? This is Yugi by TCG. We're on day seven of Yugi Mist. We have a bunch of random packs. We have a bunch of Spirit Warriors, a few Ancient Guardians, some Tactical Masters, one Ignition Assault, and then can we pull something crazy out of these two Strike of Neos packs? Those we're going to save for the end, obviously. We'll probably start with Spirit Warriors. Probably the worst set we're opening today. So it's like an all super and secret rare set. So we got Legendary Six Samurai, Legendary Six Samurai Kaizen, Miraculous Descent, Scrap Iron Statue. That's cool. In a six secret Six Samurai Raihan. Very cool artwork. Don't think it has any value, but very cool. It is a cover art card too. Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Shadow of the Six Samurai. Lots of Six Samurai in here. Magical Musket. Fiendish Deal. Legendary Six Samurai Masahuo. And Secret Samurai and Doji. Is it like all Secret Samurai cards? Is there anything else in here? Got Photon Veil. Contestellar Belt. Battleground Howling. The Weather Aurora, Aurora Canvas. In the Weather Painter Thunder. So we at least got a Weather Painter instead of another secret Six Samurai card. But I knew these would be probably the most boring packs we opened today. Uh, I had them sitting in the collection. I'm like, we need to open them. Like, they're never going to go up in value. So I might as well just rip into them. Weather Painter. Battleground Howling. I got a very good deal on these as well. And then another Doji. I'm going to pull one more different secret. Oh, at least that's just a super. Got Contestellar Belt again. Secret Six Samurai Genba. Sheehan's Smoke Single. Signal. Photon Veal. And the Weather Painter Sun. All right, let's go into Ancient Guardians. Hold on, I think I have something at the... Someone's at the front door. Give me one second. How's it going, guys? We're back. I thought it was my doorbell because I have, like, the ring thing. So, like, send stuff to my thing. Actually, it was um, the wife. She was at Target seeing if I wanted anything. So, it sounded the same for some reason because it's I have my song on vibrate. So, but she picked up some more stuff probably for the Yuki Miss. So, that's pretty good. So, we got... Make sure we're recording again. Yeah, we got Ogatic Ocean, your Shrek Megapolar, Offering to the Snake Deity, Resulf Cord Dreamia, Trade In, and Losulf Cord Angelia. All right, let's see if we can pull something good out of Ancient Guardians. There are some decent collector's verse. Like, this is a good one. I like the sulfur cord ones too, so maybe we could pull one of those. Damage Reptile and Yurcharctic Mictanus. That's a bad one. I don't like the Yurcharctic cards. Um, they just felt like filler in this set to me. Like I wish they wouldn't have even had them. I wish I would have put something else in here. Uh, Donruss or Pangor's House would be another really cool one to pull as a collector's rare. My sulfur cord, Alitia. King of the Feral Imps. Evil Dragon, Anata. Viper's Rebirth. In a dose of called Coolia Ultra Rare. Very cool. I think I have this one already. But I will take an Ultra. I mean, they're, they're pretty hard to pull, actually, Ultra Rares. Which, surprisingly, they're much harder to pull than um, other sets. Because you only get three per box instead of four. So it does make a big difference in trying to pull them out of loose packs. So that's pretty good, actually. Alright, now we're going into Tactical Masters, which is another Collector Rare set. As you guys know, I love Collector's Rares. Some people hate them. I love them. But the thing I don't like about this set is you almost know you're getting something good if it goes longer than a few... Oh my god, that's OC. 
see like we pull the super rare here where i think you'd pull the ultra rare here well man i wish invader of darkness would have got a collector's rare reprint doesn't make any sense for as far as like i mean it's not like anyone's playing invader of darkness i just think it would look awesome in a collector's rare so i was hoping it would but it did not got runic dispelling pendulum switch another labyrinth labyrinth <laughs> So, nothing in that pack either. Come on. Give us something good out of Tactical Masters. I like this set a lot. Um, so, there's some pretty cool collector jars we could pull. Fiend Griefing. Ooh, this actually should be something, right? Ooh, could be a collector rare, could be an ultra rare. We got a Huggin' the Runic Wings Ultra. Not the worst. It could be much, much worse. I'll take that. Could be a super. Let's see, though, in this last pack, can we pull another good card? All right. Nope. We got Runic Flashing Fire. So nothing in that pack. Let's go into this one Ignition Assault pack. What's really good in Ignition Assault? Isn't Lightning Storm in Ignition Assault? I mean, that's car be probably way cheaper now because of all the reprints it's gotten. Come on, give us something decent. And we got Code Talker Inverted in Fire Phoenix adding Mister. It's nothing great in that pack. Let's go into Strike of Neos now. All right. Now, these could not have been weighed. Even though that hasn't really been a problem with these because I opened up a bunch of loose ones and pulled pretty good. Why will these not open? All right, I guess we'll open it this way. Um, these are from, I took them out of um, blister packs. So there's no way they could be weighed. So there's a pretty good chance we can pull something decent. We got Firestorm Prominence, Legendary Ebon Steed. Sheehan's Foot Soldier, Marionette Might, Cloak and Dagger, and nothing. I do think you only pull an Ultra Rare, or like, you pull a Hollow, you don't pull a Rare, I don't think, with them. So, nothing in that pack. I'm trying to remember the race. I don't open this very often, so it's hard to remember, like, how it opens, like, how, I, how the set works. Obviously, the chances of us pulling something good are pretty rare, but maybe we could pull something cool. So we got Six Samurai and Zanji. Kakai Gorilla of the Dark World. Ritual Ceiling. The Six Samurai Yaya Yayachi. <gasps> Fusion Devolver Ultimate Rare! Oh my god! This is the first Ultimate Rare I think we've pulled out of this set. Wild! What a way to end. Not the you know card we would have wanted, but I mean, holy, it's still an ultimate. What a way to end. We've been pulling some really cool old stuff. Um, obviously, I don't think this is a very good one, but it's still an ultimate rare first edition, so you can't really complain about that. So, uh, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I want. I'm gonna look up actually. Was this one there was hobby boxes? No, I think you can. I don't think. I don't think hobby boxes were a thing yet. Or at, I don't think I think they were gone by then, but um, hope you guys enjoyed this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh uh, day seven. What are we opening up tomorrow? Oh, we're gonna do the tins tomorrow. We're gonna open up some 2022 tins. Still can't pull that Dark Magician Girl, man. That thing has been very difficult for me to pull. Are we gonna actually? Are we gonna do the 2022 tins? I might change it actually. I might save those. We're going to do, I have an Ancient Guardians box, and after opening up Ancient Guardians, do a Soul Cord, Coolia, let's do an Ancient Guardians box. That'd be a little more fun for day eight, just to change it up a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe, and stay tuned for more of yu gi -Miss and future videos also outside of yu gi -Miss. We do open up Pokemon, also, wanted to make that announcement. We haven't been opening up Pokemon lately, because it's been yu gi -Miss. so after that, we'll go back to doing some more Pokemon. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe and stay tuned for more content coming soon. Have a nice day.